everybody. One of my subscribers, I believe is was Tony Buddy, and there were some numbers after his his name. I, I don't remember. I apologize, but I'll get you in the link down here in the description box. Asked me to do a video on the options that I purchased with my Yoder smoker. So I thought I'd knock that out today. One of the options I purchased, oh, he wanted to know what options and why. Well, one of the options was the cover. The cover is optional. I ordered it with a competition cart. So this is the cover that's designed to cover the Yoder and the competition cart. Uh, and the, I guess the, the reason for that is quite obvious, to, to keep it from weathering and to keep the moisture off of it, the dust and what have you. So let's go ahead and peel away that layer and move on down to the next options. Uh, the next option was the competition cart. And one of the complaints I had read about on the internet was that the wheels on the standard Yoder smoker are just too small. So I ordered the competition cart. That was my next option to make the cart easier to roll especially when I'm taking it to a competition or taking it somewhere else to use. And I ordered the optional 10 inch tires to give it uh, a, a least, it makes it a little easier, little easier to roll in the grass and, and softer ground. So the competition cart, 10 inch wheels. Those were the next two options I ordered and that's why. I ordered the stainless steel shells, the solid stainless steel shells the shelf that comes with the Yoder, when you order it, is made out of bar. I believe it's stainless steel bar, but it's just rods similar to the rods in your, uh, your grate. So the shelf looks something like that. And I wanted a, a more substantial shelf, so I ordered the stainless steel shelves. And they're just a little easier to clean than steel rods and I don't know they just look a little classier to me so that was the next option I ordered thermometers I ordered dual door thermometers so there's one on the left one on the right I've got mine turned so that when I'm at 225 to 250 the needles are straight up so I can just at a quick glance see if I'm pretty close to the temperature I want to be at. If the temperatures are pointed straight up, that's where I want it to be. And I didn't tighten the set screw up real tight. That way I can move them. If I want to cook at 300, I can turn 300 straight up. That's just me, guys. Not something you have to do. You can see that the smokestack is tilted down right now because you have to tilt it down to put on the cover. Let's move around to that side and get a look at the, uh, the probe ports. I ordered dual probe ports right here. And I was able, as Yoder says you should be able to, I was able to put two ports, I mean two probes in each port. So I'm actually running a TAPAQ um, temperature monitoring system. The TAPAQ. And off of that TAPAQ I'm running four probes. So with those two ports I'm able to get all four probes inside the grill. Here's two of the probes right here. Uh, the other option I ordered while we're on the inside is this upper grill, the upper grates. The Yoder comes with stock with just a bottom set of grates right here. But I opted for the optional slide out full upper shelf. I think there's also a half shelf that you can order. I went for the full shelf for whatever reason. Those are the basic options. Then let me grab something behind us here and I'll show you. These are the grill grates. 
right here, the grill grates. They connect together to form a larger cooking surface. And I ordered three grates. The grates can go on top of your existing grates like that, your existing grills. Or you can remove the heat diffuser that's below the grills and you can use the grill grates without the diffuser and without these grates. These can replace those grates or you can lay them on top of them. That's your option. But if you're going to go above, oh, read your manual. I, I, I don't have it memorized. I think it's 400 degrees, 400-ish. They recommend that you remove the heat diffuser that's below these grates so that you don't uh, warp it. I haven't used these yet. It, I ordered three grates. I'm not going to put the third one in. That was just to illustrate. And I ordered the optional Yoder Smoker spatula, which goes right into those grates to get underneath the meat. So that's the principle right there. I think the final item, the final option I ordered, oh, the reason, because you ask why. The grill grates absorb the heat and kind of intensify it so that you can get really nice grill marks from these grates. And everybody I've seen using them online says they work great. The grates work great. And the final option I ordered, we'll spin around over here. I'll take you for a ride and make you dizzy is a Weber griddle. This griddle comes with, uh, you can order it with the grill. You can order these at most any barbecue shop. It's just a cast iron griddle, reversible. On one side it has some uh, grooves, on the other side it's smooth. Uh, I haven't even opened it yet, but that's the final option I ordered for like grilling burgers or something like that out on the, on the Yoder. So let me get you all off of this tripod and we're going to go just take a walk around the, the grill. This is the competition cart. Yoder Smoker's nameplate with the upgraded 8 inch to 10 inch. I upgraded from 8 inch to 10 inch tires. Solid stainless steel shells. The Tappacu does not come with the ports, but there are the probe ports for your Tappacu or for your probe, your temperature probes. I do use a Tappacu monitoring system. Optional slide-out shelf to increase cooking area. Optional grill grates, which you can purchase on your own separately, but I knew that these were going to fit because they came with the grill. And you have the option of ordering up to 40 pounds of uh, pellets with it, which I did. And they ship Barbecuer's Delight. I chose the hickory flavor. Back side of the smoker, excuse the post. Yoder Smoker's nameplate on the back also. And the door has this counterweight on it to make it easier to lift. So that's really all the options I ordered with it, and that's why I ordered them. If you have any further questions, Tony Buddy, feel free to uh, catch me in my comment section and let me know, and I'll be glad to answer those questions. Let me give you a shot here inside the pellet hopper. Notice I've got the power cord unhooked. There's the inside of the pellet hopper. I almost used all those pellets on my last cook, so That'll be the last of my Barbecuer's Delight Hickories. And I'm going to go to uh, the brand that I carry. I'm actually a Lumberjack dealer, so I'll start using Lumberjack pellets. Inside the lid, there's a reference with your temperatures for your various meats and what would be rare, medium rare, medium, etc. Some cooking tips. That's kind of cool. There's the Yoder Smokers phone number right there handy in the hood reference guide. This is the front controller. And that's it. That's your quick tour. Uh, Tony, I hope this answered any questions you might have. 
And uh, if not, like I said, stick them in the comment section. I'll be glad to follow up on it. Okay, everybody, this is Randy with Rashley's Border Queue. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe, and come on back. We're going to be doing a cook on this baby. Well, as you can see, I've already done a cook on it because it's a little dirty there. But uh, that was a clandestine cook. Only I got to see that one. But I'll be uh, videotaping another cook here in the near future. It'll be the first official videotaped cook, and it'll be on live for everybody. Not live, but it'll be online for everybody to see. Have a great one, Randy with Rashley's Border Cube. Bye, guys.